Does this report give you any comfort at all? At the moment, no. Anne has more reason than most to read this report carefully. This is her son, Simon, in care at Winterbourne View. Today we met up with Anne again as the government watchdog released its report into what it found here after the BBC had gone in undercover. It talks about a systemic failure to protect people or investigate abuse, a failure to protect patients from risk and that staff did not understand the needs of people in their care, like Simon. I'm quite shocked. It, it seems to me that they've managed to um, put the blame on everybody uh, and whitewash themselves. Um, whereas I feel very strongly that all the agencies were to blame. Everybody must carry their portion of blame on this. Winterbourne View is now boarded up and closed down. It was run by Castlebeck and today they accepted what the CQC had to say. It's pretty apparent that there were failings um, and you know, having looked at in some detail at the um, report now, uh, I can see that a number of them uh, are issues that we should have seen earlier, should have picked up earlier and clearly didn't. Cold comfort perhaps for the man who did blow the whistle on this. Although Castlebeck have tightened up their whistleblowing policy, he's calling for more. I think an independent public inquiry is the only way to get it, collate it all together and actually get the whole picture and maybe move on a bit. Um, I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see policy change about these places. They, they shouldn't exist. Um, if that happens, then that's the, that's the big victory. But all the inquiries and reports won't change what happened, leaving parents like Anne with unanswered questions for the agencies who failed to protect her son. Why did the CQC not do their job and investigate earlier? Why was it left so long when somebody had clearly raised the alarm, 